What's up guys, it's Neo here with Gadget Hacks, and today we're going to show you a non-root method that will allow you to remain undetected when saving snaps on your Android device. In order to do this, we're going to be using a free application called Casper, which is not available on the Google Play Store. Now, since it's not available there, we'll have to install the APK, which requires you to enable unknown sources on your Android device. And if you don't know how to do that, just check out the guide over at GadgetHacks.com. Once you've opened the application, go ahead and sign in using your Snapchat credentials. Once you've entered your Snapchat credentials, you'll be required to enter a Gmail or Google account. Now it is recommended, highly recommended by the developer to create a fake account. This will prevent Snapchat from blocking you from the official Snapchat application. For more information on that, check out the guide on GadgetHacks.com. Once you've gained access to the application, it's pretty simple to use. The main page it opens up to has your direct snaps, then you have stories, friends, and then the last page has friend requests. In order to save a direct snap, just tap on a friend that sent you something, select the snap, then hit this download icon right here at the top of the page. For stories, just select a story from one of your friends, and once you do, it'll show each single shared item, video, or image included in that story. You just select the one you want. Sometimes it'll have to load, but once it opens up, you'll just tap the download option again and it'll save to your gallery. Within your gallery application, you'll have a new album called Save Snaps. You'll just tap it, and from here you can take a look at the images you've saved, which includes videos as well. Now if you want to use Casper instead of Snapchat to share your own images, you can do that as well using the camera icon up here. You can start taking your own images and it also has some additional options in addition to the ones that Snapchat has like the emojis which you can select from Apple emojis, you can select from Twitter ones which I just tapped, you have the Apple ones, then you have the Android ones, and then you also have the iMoji stickers which is pretty cool as well. Now you also have the basic tools that Snapchat has. You can put page breaks if you want to, or line breaks, sorry. And it's pretty straightforward if you've used Snapchat before. Now some additional options if you do decide to use this over your Snapchat application, the official one, using the menu, you can go right here and remove ads, which will cost $2.99. And there's also a cool way to add an account, and you can also add additional fonts to the application, which is pretty cool. So definitely check out the full guide over at GadgetHacks.com. Also don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for some more awesome, very useful Gadget Hack videos. Thanks guys.